Hello everyone, it's me, Erica, again. Long time, no talk. Um, sorry, I was driving across the country. Um, yeah, my ruler broke <laughs> during the journey, but of all the things to break, that was the only thing that has broken in my three or four day car ride journey, so we're, we're okay with that. Um, yeah, this video is kind of fun, not because of the journal spread we're doing, this journal spread actually ended up being kind of boring, <laughs> um, very simple, very plain, but that's okay. As you can see, I am doing it on the back deck of the hotel I stayed. I spent a night in Tallulah Falls, Georgia. Um, Tallulah Gorge it's a State Park with a bunch of waterfalls in Georgia, and it was really, really nice. Um, also, my phone was running out of storage, so yeah, <laughs> as you just saw, lots of different little random breaks, but um, I'm a little bit of a mess. <laughs> I, yeah, I was commonplacing on a back deck looking at waterfalls and it was gorgeous and it was beautiful and it was a lovely really safe hotel especially since i was by myself um cat friendly lovely had some hiking and walking trails and was just wonderful so expect on my instagram to see about 10 million photos over the course of the next three months from the back of this hotel um it was really fun and in the beginning you saw clips from a tea shop I went to. It was called Tallulah 1882 and it was kind of a tea cafe. I think they had some coffee but mostly it was tea and the reason I decided to visit it was because it has a love letter writing station where people just wrote love letters and love notes both platonic and friendship love romantic love some of the notes talked about how like they just gotten engaged earlier that day or it was like children writing that they loved their parents um and i left a note about taking risks i said that this is your sign to take the risk even if it's scary um because you know, I had just, I'm driving across the country. Um, I'm currently at my halfway point where I'll be staying for a few months visiting family. Um, but then I'm, I'm going to do it all again and <laughs> drive the other half of the country, <laughs> uh, and end up on the West coast. And I'm moving for a boy, which is something I never thought I'd do. There's a lot of, um, maybe not a lot, but there is kind of a family history of that being a mistake of moving for quote-unquote love and it not really working out. Um, so it feels very important that I'm doing this. It feels not like there's a lot of pressure on me because it feels really good. It feels very right um, in a very strange way that I don't think I'd ever be able to describe of how right <laughs> this moment in life feels. Um, but I'm doing it and yeah, I am just, I decided to make it fun. I decided to take the, the trip slow. I was in Savannah, Georgia for a little bit visiting a friend. I went to college there, so it was really fun to walk those streets again. Um, 
and kind of close cycles. I had a tarot reading done while I was there. If you're ever in Savannah, Georgia and you like metaphysical sort of things, the best metaphysical shop in Savannah is Cosmic Corner Savannah. Yes, I am biased because I worked there, um, but objectively it is the best one and they have a lovely tarot reader there and she was just so on point and you know it was one of those things where you went in with a question and the tarot was like mm, that's not what you need to be asking this is what we're going to talk to you about and it was just beautiful and this feels like a very big moment um so for anyone out there listening if it's it's time to take the risk okay it's time even if it's scary um if you know you need to take it you need to take that risk and you can do it you can do hard things i was so scared about being so tired and exhausted and traffic and you know I had a really easy drive though if I'm honest um but it was oh but I think also part of that was because like it was all easier than I expected I was so nervous that I was gonna be so tired and I was gonna be so done with driving like I was gonna go insane in a car for three days with no one to talk to except for my cat Uh, you know, the cat threw up a couple times. He doesn't like mountains and curvy roads, but I guess I can't blame him. Um, but it was fine. Like I did well, like I woke, like (laughs) I would get to the hotel at night and, um, just, you know, hang out, relax, play on my switch and then go to bed. And I'd wake up super early and be like, yeah, let's freaking do it. (laughs) Let's, let's get on the road. Um, and it was lovely. And at some point I had a plan for this voiceover and it all went out the window and I had no idea what I was going to say and talk about other than like, yeah, some things are scary and, but you got to do them anyway, sort of thing. And it'll all end up all right. And it probably won't be nearly as bad as you think it's going to be. Um, and taking that journey alone and doing things by yourself is also not terrifying. I think at one point I was going to kind of make this more like female empowerment focused of a voiceover and be like yeah we can travel solo as females we can do it but I think I think actually like you know men need to hear this too of like we can do we can all do hard things we can do things that we have been told are hard or that we just in our minds create this idea that they will be hard or not easy or difficult or anxiety inducing or a little bit of a risk and that's not just reserved for people who identify as female right that's that's just a human experience of being afraid to do something and being nervous about it and deciding to bite the bullet and just do it um you can do it this is a message to everyone out there you can do hard things you can do scary things you are capable you are strong, you are, I think that's what I've learned a lot this past year, um, the body and the mind can handle so much more than we think it can, um, and that's not to say that we should be pushing ourselves beyond a limit, that's, that's saying that we can do things that we don't think we can do, our body can do things that we don't think it can do, it's all kind of a mind game, um, that we are kind of playing with ourselves, but that also doesn't mean that we shouldn't rest or take time to rest because while our bodies and minds can handle really difficult things and really tough things, um, doesn't mean we should force it to all the time. You know, there's a balance obviously of like, let's not put ourselves through more trauma than we have to. But if we decide that we want to take a risk and move across the country, (laughs) we can do that. That's fine. If we want to go on that trip, um, out of country by ourselves, you know, like we can figure it out. It'll all be okay. Um, yeah. So that's kind of where I've been at. Uh, I've been a a mess of trying to adjust to essentially living with parents again. They're not, that's my grandparents. I'm living with my grandparents, but essentially living under someone else's rules. (laughs) uh for the first time in a in a long time um you get very used to kind of living in under your own standards and your own rules and your own habits and your own space I, it's only been like 2 weeks and i already like the thing i miss most is my own mattress i really miss my own mattress and i really miss my desk um 
I'm a desk girly. I like working at a desk. I like having a desk. I like having a desk chair that's comfy. I've <laughs> been working on a dining room table. Um, that's okay. It's all a journey. It's all part of it. Um, but yeah, I really enjoyed that tea shop. So if you're ever in Georgia, it, oh my gosh, it was, I'm, it's only March, right? So everything was still kind of dead, if I'm honest. In Georgia, a little bit more was alive, but it, it is northern Georgia. Um, and when I went, it was so rainy, which I don't mind rain. I like rain, so it was fine. But if it is like late spring or early summer and you ever get the chance to go to Tulula Falls, oh my gosh, I'm sure it would be absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> it was gorgeous when I went, um, but I'm a nature lover. So I think nature is gorgeous at all times of year. Um, but it would be absolutely stunning, you know, in the spring. And I think that's something that I realized during this drive and it was kind of hard it was like I want to go back to Savannah like not all the places I wanted to visit were open um a lot of restaurants are closed early on the week because it is a little bit of a tourist city um even though I went to college there it's very much a tourist and a college town and then like I was like wow I really want to come back to Tulula Falls and stay at this lovely hotel with these lovely hotel owners that were so sweet and so chatty and just wanted to you know help me out and t- talk to me about my journeys and my life and I wanted to I want to see that place again in the spring like I want to do that and I'm also like I'm I'm in a t- completely different state completely different landscape than I normally would be and I'm so honored that I get to see spring bloom here and see the world come alive here um and I'm also really missing and mourning the fact that I won't get to see my favorite trees bloom and I don't know if I will ever get to see my favorite trees you know bloom again because I am moving and moving is semi-permanent and I will be visiting home but I I won't be there for every moment to see the world come alive there again and I'm getting very emotional about that um but I'm also honored to be in this new space and watch the world come alive here and it's really it's just there's a lot (laughs) of being in these moments where you hope you get to come back to this place and you hope you get to experience these moments again and again and again but you kind of know that you might not ever get this moment again um it makes you really grateful and it makes you kind of pause. Um, makes you appreciate the moment a lot more of like, I may never get to see this place again. And so, yes, it's raining and it's cloudy. Um, but this is how I get to experience this landscape at this moment. And this is how I get to experience these people at this moment. And yeah I wouldn't change it for anything (laughs) is sort of what I'm saying and I do hope I get to go back um it is my life goal to visit all 50 states and I can officially check Georgia completely off because I've visited a city in Georgia I've visited suburbs I've visited a state state or national park I visited rural place so we got we got Georgia checked off (laughs) um sorry for the kind of messy voiceover I Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for being patient with me as I kind of try and readjust to a normal upload schedule. Um, And yeah, you can do hard things and I hope you guys get to live in the present and I hope you guys get to enjoy wherever you are at the moment and whether that's the landscape or people or whatever, you know, you deserve to have a lovely, lovely day. You 100% deserve it. And I will see you guys all next time.